everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Saba Miso. Saba Miso is mackerel cooked in sweet salty miso glaze. It's one of the most classic way of cooking mackerel here in Japan. So if you want to transport your dining table to Japan with some seafood dish, try this one. At the end of the video, I will show you how I built a menu with this saba miso. So stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. Two fillets of mackerel, some ginger, six tablespoons of sake, three tablespoons each of miso, mirin and sugar, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Prepare some boiling water. And while you do that, let's cut the mackerel. Let's just cut it into half. Make some slits here. them in the bowl. Pour the boiling water into the bowl to coagulate blood and scum. It's just random amount of boiling water. Then rinse them with cold water. into thin slices and the rest into needle thin strips. So let's make this one into thin slices with the skin on. And this one into needle thin strips. So let's peel the skin using spoon. into very thin slices then into thin strips very thin Release it in cold water.
and drain. This is called Hari Shoga Needle Ginger, and this is for the topping. Put slices of ginger, six tablespoons of water, and all these seasoning in the frying pan. Ginger, six tablespoons of water. Six tablespoons of sake. Three tablespoons each of mirin, sugar, and miso, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Turn the heat on and bring it to boil as you dissolve the miso. Add mackerel with the skin side facing up. And cover it with aluminum foil with little hole in the middle. This will help the broth to circulate all over the mackerel. Turn the heat to low and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Simmer for 10 minutes. Let's remove the lid. Turn the heat to medium and keep cooking for another 2 to 3 minutes as you pour the broth over the mackerel. Now, the broth is cooked down and it's nice and thick, almost like a caramel. So it's done. Let's serve on the plate. Pour some miso glaze. Hari shoga. Needles and ginger on top. This is partly optional, but let's have something green to make it look prettier. Today, I have some cooked spinach. So let's put it here. And saba miso is ready to go. Time for the tasting. The gingery miso glaze tastes so good. No wonder why this has been such a popular mackerel dish in Japan. Delicious! This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Saba miso is main, so let's put it here. Plain rice here, tofu miso soup or any soup you like here. Anything you like for the side dishes, but how about Japanese potato salad for one of them and some sort of pickles to refresh your palate for the other one. I hope you enjoy! 
That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything.